Phil Murphy bounded onto the stage in Asbury Park with insouciant glee, unlike a man weighed down by the enormity of the task ahead. After more than two years of running, the governor-elect could be forgiven his moment of levitation. Tonight, we declare the days of division are over. We will move forward together. This is exactly who we are, New Jersey. We have each other's backs. To believe in each of us is to believe in all of us. This morning, the governor-elect was greeting commuters in Hoboken, and for a minute there, their gotta-go-to-work indifference bordered on awkward. Everybody, Phil Murphy, how are you, folks? Addressing an early morning gaggle of reporters, Murphy talked about his phone call with Governor Chris Christie. He and I spoke last evening. It was a very gracious, very good conversation, focused literally 100% on transition. He and I will meet uh, live in the next couple of days. I don't think we have it scheduled yet, but he and I are trying to find some time to sit. Um, and it was a really good conversation, as was my conversation with the lieutenant governor. Murphy appeared with Hoboken mayor-elect Ravi Bala, a Sikh whose victory came in the face of a late-in-the-campaign anonymous racist flyer. Bala said the win was a victory for the city's better angels. I hope so. Uh, you know, that's not what Hoboken's about. We're a very diverse and welcoming city, and uh, I think um, hopefully my election shows that. Murphy said he wants to be the governor for all 9 million residents of New Jersey and pointed to Bala's victory as a sign that unity could be the residue of all this contentious campaigning. But Rutgers political science professor Mary Seegers says Murphy's path is fraught with political potholes. He's going to have uh, some things that he has to discover, which is, first of all, how difficult it is to work with the legislature, <laughs> which has its own priorities and yeah. commitments. And uh, I mean, we know from Washington that uh, if you have the same party in both the White House and Congress, they don't always work. And he's going to have that here. The campaign confirmed today that Hackensack Meridian Health Chief of Staff Jose Lozano will lead the Murphy transition, and sources say that Pete Camerano, the former chief to Senator Dick Cody, will be Murphy's chief of staff, something the governor-elect was not confirming today. We're going to kick it off today. We're going to kick it off today, so stay tuned. Murphy spent $16 million of his own cash to get the nomination and another $8 million in public funds for the general election, for which he wins the honor of trying to steer the ship of state from starboard to port. In Hoboken, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News. Governor, can you say hi to